Hello friends, we are going to write an algorithm to find the biggest of given two numbers by using if else if statement. Step 1 is a logical start of the flow chart. Step 2, I am appending two numbers, input A comma B, step 3, if A greater than B, then print A is big. The value of A bound by is big is a string. Else if B greater than A Then print B is B. Then we are having a L statement. A is not greater than B and B is not greater than A, then the control will come to the else statement. Else, I am printing print A B or equal equal end of End of this is step three. Step four. This is the logical end of this algorithm. That's it. Now we will check how the algorithm works. For example, I am giving a equal to ten, b equal to five. If we check. If A greater than B, then this control is true, then we we'll print A is big. After that, the control will come to the, the statement next to the if else block. That will come to the stop. The algorithm will stop. So, the result is 10 is big. This is my result. Another scenario, in input I am giving A equal to 50, B equal to 100. It will a greater than B. To check first, 50 greater than 100. The condition is false. It will come to the else statement, B greater than A. That means, 100 greater than 50. The condition is true. Then we print, 100 is big. Then another scenario, I am giving A equal to 50, B equal to 50. Now, what we will do? We do A greater than B. We check 50 greater than 50, condition is false. We will come to the else if statement. Else if B greater than A. So, it again we check B is 50 greater than 50. This is also false. It will check A and B are equal. That means 50 and 50 are equal. 50, comma 50 are equal is my result. Okay. So, if the if block is true, the control will execute the statement. Inside the if block, if, we, if condition is true, the control will come to the if block and, and it will execute the statement and we go to the, the statement next to the if else if block, that is star. If A greater than B, the condition is false, then it will come to the else if block, it will check this condition. If the condition is true, 
that statement inside the else block will get executed. After the execution, the control will transfer to the next statement, that is the end of this algorithm stop. If, if you have any other statement, it will come to the uh, instead of stop, we are having some other logical step, it will come to the logical step. Anyhow, if if block is true, okay, then if condition is true, the if block will execute it, the control will go to the next statement. If, if, if block is false, it will come to the else block and will check the condition. If it is true, it will execute it. We can add any number of else block for our problem, only one else if is sufficient. If else if is false, if is false, if condition is false, else if condition is false, then the control will come to the else uh, come to the else block and execute the statement under the else block. That's it. So this is the algorithm to find the biggest of two number using if else if else statement. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment, and press the bell button. Thank you.